What up you got here? You working from home? Oh, what girl. you doing? Yes, yes. By day, doing my finance stuff, you know, calling clients, helping them get money to buy these investment properties. So it's got to find that balance between paying these bills and just getting it done, girl. Do you get frustrated having to work your nine to five job, um, but really wanting to do music? Because when I was in cosmetology school, it was like all I could think about was music. You know, I was literally like vis visualizing myself on stage singing. I'm writing songs as I'm curling hair. You know what I mean? I went to cosmetology school. So, I, you know, I love all things hair and makeup. I knew that because you always be together and be. Mm -hmm. That's a commonality. Yes. Like, and know. I didn't know you went to hair school. Yeah, I used to work at a shop. And really? Yeah, yeah. I was doing that while I was still in school. OK. And then once I got out, I was like, ooh, I realized that I'm not built for the personalities that, you know, that come <laughs> in. See, I love that part. Oh. Uh, because I'm I mean, a people I person, so I love that part. But my heart was with my music. And it can be frustrating and it can be discouraging. So how are you balancing that? I not only get frustrated, but almost like this hopeless feeling because if I don't have the space and the freedom to put the time and the energy into my creativity and into my music, then I just feel like, when am I ever going to do it? And every year that goes by, it's like, OK, I'm a year older. Mm -hmm. um, and it just feels very, like it's getting away from me. Yeah. I had to do what I had to do to help support the household. So you know, I ran the streets for a minute. You and me like, both, girl. I ran the streets for a minute. Singing in strip clubs, girls dancing all around me, and I'm singing. My parents are pastors this whole time. I'm doing this during the week. I'm still showing up at church on Sundays, singing and directing the choir, and nobody knows I'm living this double life. You are literally preaching to the choir. Like, <laughs> girl, sometimes going to church, hi. Like, yes, yes. One time I, I had know, a I juice know. bottle in my purse, and I forgot. Oh. And it had, like, some vodka and some, like, cranberry juice in it, and I forgot it was in my purse. I definitely have um, been in that space as well. Um, but huh, you mentioned strip clubs. That's the thing that's really sticking out for me because uh, the strip club thing for me comes from a place of um, actual personal experience. 